come on in, pull up a chair, take a load off, because today I will page through and review Delta Green Control Group from Arc Dream Publishing. Does this contain four terrifying tales sure to put a chill in the spine of your players? <laughs> Find out right after this. Howdy, 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 gang. Yes, I'm Jeff McAleer, back once again as your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. As I mentioned in the open, I am going to be paging through and reviewing the latest adventure compendium from Arc Dream Publishing. It is Delta Green Control Group. This does contain four adventures. It is written by Greg Stolze and Shane Ivey with artwork provided by Dennis Detweiler. The 180-page hardcover does carry an MSRP of $44.99. It is available right now. It is also available in PDF from my friends over at DriveThruRPG for $19.99. Real quickly, do want to mention, The Gaming Gang is an affiliate of the One Bookshelf sites, which include DriveThruRPG. So if you are going to visit DriveThruRPG, please stop by TheGamingGang.com first. Click on one of our drive through banners. That way, if you happen to make a purchase, we get a little portion of that sale, and it helps keep the gaming gang around. Anyway, regardless, let's swing on over to the other camera. We're going to take a quick page through of Control Group, and I will share some of my thoughts as well. Here we have Delta Green Control Group. Horrifying scenarios for Delta Green, the role-playing game. Kind of flip a back, take a peek here. The Deadly Light of Revelation, born of the U.S. government's 1928 raid on the degenerate coastal town of Innsmouth, Massachusetts. The covert agency known as Delta Green opposes the forces of darkness with honor, but without glory. Delta Green agents fight to save humanity from unnatural horrors, often at a shattering personal cost. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, this is written by Greg Stolze and Shane Ivey. Illustrations are by way of Dennis Detweiler. So first off, got to point out, really nice production quality here. Now granted, I've got a little ding here, but that's because this is a review copy. So, as opposed to uh, somebody getting a copy of this, you know, buying it and having a little ding in the corner here. Uh, Art Dream Publishing was kind enough to provide me with this as a review copy. So very nice, very nicely done. Uh, really, really well done, well laid out. Graphically has a lot of pop to this book. And uh, all in all, stories, the adventures themselves are really, really nicely done as well. So first off, because this is an adventure compendium consisting of four adventures, I am going to do this as spoiler-free as I possibly can just by simply paging through here. And uh, I will share some thoughts, kind of give you an overview a little bit of what the adventures actually are. But I'm not going to give you any of the details at all. So if you are familiar with uh, many of the Arc Dream publishing Delta Green releases, you already know that uh, we've got all these different layouts, the, the, the various different kind of graphic uh, looks to the adventures. Just as Chaosium had a traditional look to their Call of Cthulhu adventures, Delta Green has a, a bit of a, a style to their graphic presentation as well. Really, really cool. It's, uh, you get enough artwork to really give you a flavor, but it's not as if we've got so much artwork that uh, you're not getting much gaming material. So this first adventure here, Black Sat, uh, is pretty interesting because the player characters are actually astronauts. And uh, there are a couple civilians who are going to be uh, assisting them in repairing a satellite. 
Yeah, that's the official story, and I'm sticking to it. I thought this was pretty cool. It does have uh, a bit of a, a breakdown of what's going on, kind of almost like hour by hour, actually second by second, really, uh, in some areas of the uh, the adventure. But uh, I found this to be pretty cool because very, very different. Uh, I would think if you're a fan of, like, say, Lovecraft stories like, uh, oh, as an example, I'll say Dreams in the Witch House, you'll probably get a kick out of this. You, you will definitely get a kick out of this adventure. And then, of course, we've got some pre-gens as well. And I have to say, uh, regardless of what each of the player characters' specialties are, each of the player characters do get an opportunity for uh, them to be able to shine. Okay, then we get night visions, which in this situation, the player characters are actually soldiers in Afghanistan who find themselves on a diplomatic mission to uh, the Goth Valley, or Gath Valley, whichever one you want, however you want to pronounce it. And um, let's just say things don't turn out as land and we'll kind of zip on past here uh so the the gath valley is supposed to be this this area of afghanistan that that the locals all kind of stay away from they shy away from it so uh this will have a lot of appeal to uh those kind of players who who like a bit more action a bit more um you know, a bit more combat in uh, in their adventures. I mean, this is not just a, simply a combat mission, but uh, a, a clever keeper can easily incorporate uh, a lot of action into that adventure there. Once again, we got pre-gens. We have pre-gens for all of these adventures. Then we have Sick again. So interestingly enough, I had considered... Uh, actually running this for my live stream, the charity stream that we did for Extra Life back in early November. I was looking at uh, at maybe kind of converting this because I was going to do like a 1950s, well, I did do a 1950s adventure. And uh, I, I was almost going to use this. Uh, and one of the reasons is because it takes place in Phoenix. I used to live in Arizona. I lived in the Phoenix area for almost 10 years. And uh, I, I kind of thought it would be kind of kind of cool. But I got to say, there are some gruesome aspects <laughs> to this adventure. that I thought, oh, you know, I better not. I better not use this for my uh, adventure that we did. Uh, so we did six hours during the, the actual stream. That uh, I actually ran uh, an adventure that was from uh, Atomic Age Cthulhu from Chaosium Inc. Uh, but this, I I particularly like this adventure here. And uh, if you are a fan, okay, as, as strange as this may sound, but if you're a fan of either like the Andromeda Strain film or Michael Crichton's book, I think you will certainly enjoy this adventure. All right, so then we've got some of the handouts for that adventure as well. Now, the fourth adventure is interesting because now we've got a lot of kind of handouts and uh, info to track in this, as well as here we got the pre-gens once again. Uh, and the player characters are coming from the CDC, so the Center for Disease Control. So Wormwood Arena... Now, you'll notice that these adventures leading up to this, this fourth one all take place chronologically prior to this. Because essentially what's supposed to kind of happen here, and I apologize for some of the glare here. There you go. There's Dennis Detweiler's art. Oh, that's kind of... There we go. Scatty kid, scatty. So essentially what's happening is the first three adventures, what you could do is you could conceivably take the survivors and I'm not saying that you know the characters any of the characters die or anything yeah I'm not saying that but what you can do is you can take the um, the survivors from the previous adventures and introduce them into this adventure later on 
and actually make them as uh, as rookie Delta Green agents or kind of create a team from for Delta Green from uh, the various characters from the previous adventure. So I, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Now, what's going on here is that uh, there is this cult in Kansas City who their recruitment uh, pamphlets and things like that display some uh, unusual uh, images that uh, those in the know in Delta Green can identify as mythos related. So uh, the agents are sent to find out what exactly is going on with this cult. So uh, I'm kind of skimming through this really kind of quickly because uh, I don't want to spoil the adventure. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free. Just wanted to kind of give you an, a, an idea of uh, what each of these adventures kind of set out to start off as and uh, show off the book as well. I did uh, previously do a in-depth page through for this book, but uh, once again, here we go. Here's the, uh, here's, here's like the pamphlet. That's like, uh huh. Well, uh, okay. Well, so beautiful, Gullworthy Farm. Once again, really nice work on the handouts and the player aids as well. The, uh, the pre-gens are pretty cool. I like the pre-gens. Let's go back and I'll show you. Try to get a little closer look at, there we go, the pre-gens here. So really, really nicely done. I like, uh, I like the pre-gens, you know, you get the personal details and things like that. All the skills are broken down. Very, very easy one page character sheet. Pretty nice. I, uh, I definitely dig this. So one thing I do want to point out as well is uh, that uh, when you purchase the physical books from Art Dream Publishing for Delta Green, you get a PDF as well. So you can easily print those pre-gens uh, out for your players as well. So that is a look at Delta Green Control Group. Let's swing out over to the other camera. I will share some thoughts about some of the adventures. Still trying to stay spoiler free and give this my final review score. There you have a quick peek at Delta Green Control Group from Art Dream Publishing. Allow me to pretty much sum this up, kind of wrap this up, and also put a bow on this with my review score. So do you want to point out all four adventures? I really do like all four of the adventures that are contained within Control Group. Do you want to keep it spoiler free? Especially since this, I mean, this is an adventure compendium. And I'm not a fan of people just ruining the adventures in uh, gaming books in the midst of a review, right? Because players watch these videos and it's going to ruin your session. So I do as, as spoiler free as possible as I can. Anyway, do want to mention that uh, the first three adventures, I like the fact that you can kind of handpick the survivors to create the uh, fledgling Delta Green team in the fourth and final adventure. Uh, I like how all these adventures are all different. There is no real common thread running through them, which I do appreciate that fact as well. Uh, they make really, really good starting adventures. I like Black Sat. How often do, do player characters get to be astronauts, right? The uh, Sick Again is also a really cool adventure, especially for those people who, uh, who enjoy movies and books about trying to uh, contain a virus from breaking out a la Contagion or the um, Andromeda Strain, which I don't know why he just zoned on Andromeda Strain. I just mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. See how now. Anyway, so really good adventures, really good book, great introduction to Delta Green for players as well as keepers uh, new to the game too. 
really, really well produced. Love the art. Artwork's great. The uh, physical component quality of the book is top notch. That said, I do have one small negative. It is pretty small, but it does it does ding the score a little bit. At 180 pages, I think this hardcover is a little too pricey. Not incredibly, but just a little bit. By about five dollars is how I look at it. Usually, we see about 180 to 220 page hardcover game books usually run in the vicinity of about 39.99. This does run 44.99. So, like I said just a tad high as far as the msrp nothing crazy and i do understand you know our dream publishing is not a huge publisher right we're not talking pathfinder from paizo not talking D D from wizards of the coast they are a smaller company so i will you know not ding them too hard as far as just five dollars too much on this on this hardcover the pdf is about right about right in price, about $19.99. Our cover is a little, little up there. Anyway, so because of that, I actually will ding this. I will drop my review score below a nine. That's how good this book is. It is really, really good. Unfortunately, that pricing kind of ding. So on a scale of one to 10, I do give Delta Green Control Group a extremely solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. All right, there you have it for this time out. Don't forget to catch me live Mondays through Fridays at 7 p.m. Central Time right here on YouTube as I bring you the Daily Dope and the latest tabletop gaming news. Of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you do, don't forget, ring that little bell because not only will it notify you when I upload standalone videos such as this, it'll also tell you when the Daily Dope goes live within about a minute or so. And of course, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. And of course, until next time, happy trail. Whoa, hey. <laughs> I didn't realize that you were still here. Well, if that's the case, then allow me to share the following information with you that I only have 20 seconds to do. So let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> so if you would like to subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel, please click right here. If you want to check out the latest episode of The Daily Dope, click right here. And if you'd like to check out a randomly selected standalone video, by all means, click right here. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer, and...